right, what's up, y'all? Capital P, Prince Sports. All right. This is my hip hop channel, and this is a channel I normally talk about hip hop on. So let's get into it. Now, I want to talk about an underrated MC. All right, an MC that struck fear in people. And for him to do this to a guy like Nas, okay, means a lot. Now, Nas is widely known as a top five greatest MC of all time. Some people have him as the greatest, like myself. And some people don't, you know, but they still have him in the top five. But there's also an MC that was from Harlem, New York. He came on the scene with an album called Lifestyles of the Rich and Dangerous, okay? Considered a classic album. And... He was friends with Nas, this guy that was friends with Nas, and his under the name of Big L. Now, unfortunately, Big L was murdered in Harlem, uh, shot in the face about nine times and like hit in the chest once, somewhere between that, um, a brutal murder. And it was just sad, man. He actually got killed by his own friend. That just goes to show you sometimes you got to be careful who you pit in your circle. And... Here's Nas and what Nas had to say about him. To get in your pockets, that's what them girls want to do. But if you're not rich, then them chicks going to front on you. L is a heavy weight with steady paper. You the type to go to jail for a petty caper. They come son. home on good behavior. Talking about you no longer hard now because you're a man of God now. Yo, it's amazing. L is blazing. Always, Always been. Man. Before I put the braids in, I used to let the waves spin. Lord Finesse, so who going to come after him, right? Oh, and then body it. Big L bodied it. The biggest thing in the world. Like, I, like He scared me to death. <laughs> yo, when I heard that on tape, I was scared to death. Yeah. I said, yo, there's no way. it's no way I could compete. If this is what I got to compete with, I said, there's no way. All right, so there you go. This guy put fear in Nas. So Nas heard Big L for the first time. He was like, man, I got to go up against this? You know, this is the same dude, Big L, that was going to get signed to Rockefeller Records. And if Nas or Big L had some type of battle, it would have been something to see. And Big L was very known for punchlines and saying crazy stuff. Uh, something that's a little out of Nas territory. Nas do say a lot of uh, punchlines here and there, but he's not known for that. You know, Big L was more of a the type of artist that had punchlines with lyrical flow. Right? Like dope lyrical flow with punchlines. Nas is the type of artist that made you think with lyrical flows and creativity. Nas's whole bag was lyrical ability and creativity. That's what he does best, okay? And he tells stories. You know, he'll tell you a great story. You know, so he was a great storyteller, a great lyrical rapper. But one day Nas is not 100% great at it. It's battle rap, okay? It's just not his bag. It's not something that you look for when you watch, when you listen to Nas as a battle rapper. But a guy that could do battle rap because he had good punchlines was Big L, okay? It would have been quite some some battle. And I'm pretty sure uh, they probably would have hashed things out because they're good friends and they, they respect each other. But Big L was the only rapper that Nas, Najir Jones, feared. And this is a perfect reason why, because Big L was a monster on the MIC.